Hey everybody, so today we're talking autofocus. I've been tinkering with my laser, trying some new lenses, and I've accidentally made some adjustments to my autofocus. So I've gotta go back in, recalibrate it, and make sure that the offset is correct to get the right focus height. So the first thing that you wanna do before you do this is go and do your ramp test. Make sure that you know what that focus height's supposed to be, and then you can come back and do this. So I'll post a link up here to a video, um, so that way you can go see the ramp test, then come back here and adjust your autofocus if you're using an autofocus machine. So stay tuned. <clears throat> okay, so there's a couple of things that you are going to need to do this whole process. So first thing, a good measurement, measurement device. Um, so I like to use calipers, super easy. Um, I'll throw an Amazon link down in the description. Um, you're gonna need some scrap wood to help create your offset. What I've got here is I've got a piece of six millimeter MDF and then a piece of three millimeter Baltic birch ply. So total nine millimeters is what my offset's gonna be. And you also need the hex key so that way, or the Allen key, so that way you can loosen this up right here and adjust this pin up and down to create our offset. So, the process, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the laser head in focus to this waste material right here. And then going to come in and then set the pin down to here, creating a nine millimeter offset. Then I'll go into the controller or actually into light burn and adjust the machine machine settings for the Z offset. So that way this pin knows that I always want to have nine millimeters of offset, so that way I'm in focus to the material. Hope that makes sense, but I'm gonna go through it step by step, and we're gonna to do it together. So hang on tight. Okay, to start off, I'm just going to make sure that you guys see that this scrap material here is actually nine millimeters. So hopefully you can see there. So it's 9.21 is what I'm getting right there. So that's the offset ultimately we're gonna create by doing this. So there's your measurement. Next thing we're gonna do is I've already done a ramp test and I know that um, my optimal focus is right around 18 millimeters. So I've made these focal gauges. Um, we actually have in our Facebook group, there is a file for these. So I'm gonna go ahead, get it in focus, get this up to 18 millimeters, We'll go from there. All right, so now that we're in focus, I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna put this right here so that way I know it is going to be that 9.21 millimeters to the surface there. So that's the offset we're creating for the pin. So we're gonna loosen this up and let the pin just drop down to it. Okay. And we'll go ahead and slide that stuff back out. So now essentially what we've done is created the offset that I want. And one of the reasons that I wanted it this high is I can use these magnets and that gives me a good amount of clearance. That way this thing's not running into anything. So now with this, knowing it's about nine, nine and a quarter, um, or I guess not a quarter, but 9.21 millimeters, we're gonna go and we're gonna put that measurement inside of our controller and then see how well the offset works. Um, so first thing I wanna do is I'm actually gonna go and back this off. And I wanna make sure that my autofocus pin and everything is connected correctly and that it's working. So I'm gonna go over to the controller and create, hit the autofocus. Okay, by hitting that pin, I know that everything is you know, interacting correctly. I'm not gonna have to hit the e-stop, like everything is set up the way that it's supposed to. So now let's go back over to the controller. 
Okay, so now over here in Lightburn, we're gonna go, I mean, I'm connected to the laser. You know, obviously we can see over here, it says laser ready. Uh, and you need to be connected so that way you can get to the machine settings. We're gonna go to edit, machine settings, let that load up. And then we're coming all the way down to Z axis right here. So the enable homing is on, the limit triggers on, that's all stuff that has to do with actually letting the, um, the autofocus work. What you want to come down to, the home offset, this right here. So right now it looks like it's set to 8.6. So we're going to come in here and make it 9.21 because that is what the measurement of my scrap material was that I set on the bed to adjust the pin. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and say write. And it says successfully written and OK. So now that that's done, we're going to go back over and we're going to try it again on the laser or on the, the machine and make sure that the autofocus is actually getting to the height that we want. And if not, then we'll make some minor adjustments. Okay, so now we're back over the laser. Um, I actually reset the machine so you can either turn it off and then turn it back on so it will re-home the axes um, or you can just hit the reset button on the controller. Um, that's just so that way it will release the Z height again so that way I can kind of adjust it and, and get it where I want it to. You don't have to, um, I'm just anal like that. But, so now you can actually go and re-home it using the controller and we'll double check and make sure that our offset is doing what it's supposed to. So here we go. So we're gonna go down, autofocus, and run that program. Okay, so now that that's been done, let's go back in here and see I'm still a little bit off. So obviously it's going off of where it presses all the way in. So looking at where I'm at right here, so I can't even get under 16 millimeters. So let's see, what else do I have? So I've got a 14 millimeters here. So let's see where I'm getting here. So looks like I'm about 14 millimeters is, is where I'm at. I'm trying to see maybe a hair more. But I'm going to go in, and so since I need 18, I'm going to go and add 4 millimeters to what the current offset is, and then we'll try it again. Okay, back over at Lightburn, and we're going into the machine settings. Coming down here to Z-axis. Okay, and then we just went and added four millimeters to that, so 13.21. Gonna go ahead and write, and okay, and back over to the place. All right, so back over here again, and I'm gonna go ahead and do our autofocus program. Try it again. All right, that's looking a little bit closer, and boom, there we go. Right at, right at 18 millimeters. So I've got what I wanted. Um, could I snug it up? Maybe a little bit, but I like a little play in here. Um, usually if you're a little bit out of focus, it makes for a slightly bigger line and makes those pieces fall out just a little bit better. All right, there you go, short and sweet. And that's how you're gonna go ahead and recalibrate your autofocus. So that way it is the optimal height for the results that you got from your ramp test and then you can use your machine and you can use that autofocus and you don't have to worry about whether you're in focus or not. Um, once you've done this once, unless that autofocus pin gets moved, you should be good to go and just keep rolling. So thanks for watching guys. Like, subscribe, leave comments if you got them and thank you so much.